Hello everyone, in this lecture I am going to explain how to calculate private income, second is personal income and third one is personal disposal income. We will also discuss in this lecture how to calculate net national disposal income and gross national disposable income. Gross national disposable income. Okay. <clears throat> so these five topics we will cover in this lecture. Firstly, I am going to read the meaning of private income. Private income is the total of factor incomes and transfer incomes received from all sources by private sector within and outside the country. What is the meaning of personal income? Personal income is the sum of earned income and transfer income received by persons from all sources within and outside the country. And personal disposable income, it is the past of personal income which is available to the households for disposable as they like and last one is national net national disposable income it is the maximum income available income from all sources that a nation can spend on consumption and saving during the year now we will see how to calculate private income personal income and personal disposal income that is the practical part here <coughs> this is page number 7 when is 7 may uh, all the formulas I have given in the page number 7 that is how to calculate in private income, personal income and personal disposal income. Right? For calculation of private income, we need to calculate firstly national income. Then we need to subtract surplus of government sector from national income. National income is also known as NNP at FC. Here is national income. NNP at FC minus surplus of government sector. Then we need to add three items that is net current transfer from rest of the world second is current transfer from government and the last one is national debt interest right there is another formula to calculate private income that is from income from domestic product accruing to private sector plus net factor income from abroad plus net current transfer from rest of the world plus current transfer from government and plus net debt interest national debt interest another formula is private income equals to corporate tax plus undistributed profit right these are the three formula to calculate private income okay now we are going to i'm going to solve a question practical question Yeah, here is question number 61. Firstly, I am going to read the question, question number 61. This is page number 4.113 and this book is basically book of Sandeepka, right? <clears throat> you can uh, also solve from other books. It doesn't make any difference, right? So here is question number 61 which is already came in your exam CBSE foreign 2004 third is basically uh, like paper one two three uh, there are three sets so this is indicating set number three that is CBSE foreign two, two, uh, 2014 right here is the information first one is income from domestic product accruing to government second one is wages and salary third national debt interest then profit Net factor income to abroad. Here is to abroad. Then rent, current transfer from government, interest, social security contribution by employees, net indirect taxes, net current transfer to abroad. Net factor income to abroad and net current transfer to abroad. These two are important because in formula, there is net factor income from abroad, not to abroad. 
एंड करेंट ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम अब्रॉड नॉट टू अब्रॉड तो इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज टू अब्रॉड दैट मीन्स वी विल चेंज द साइन दैट मीन्स वी हैव एडेड नेट फैक्टर इनकम फ्रॉम अब्रॉड वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग नेशनल इनकम बट ड्यू टू नेट फैक्टर टू अब्रॉड वी विल सब्सट्रैक्ट दिस आइटम राइट we will see how to solve this question and we will i'm also going to explain uh what we will be do for two or if uh, there is a net income from abroad firstly we need to write the formula because here question required two things net domestic product at market price and private income so according to uh, this questions because in this questions the given informations are like wages and salary profits rent interest social security contribution to employers we will apply income method because we cannot apply expenditure method and वैल्यू एडेड मेथड बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू इनकम मेथड वी विल कैलकुलेट एन डी पी एट एफ सी फॉर एन डी पी एट एफ सी वी नीड टू एड थ्री थिंग्स दैट इज कॉम्पनसेशन ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज प्लस ऑपरेटिंग सरप्लस प्लस मिक्स इनकम आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन फ्रॉम इनकम मेथड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट एन डी पी एट एफ सी in lecture number 2 so if you want to revise or if you want to know about income method you need to uh, watch our lecture number 2 on youtube video right so here is income method according to income method we will get ndp at fc For NDPT FC, we need to add three items. That is, compensation employees, operating surplus, and mixed income of self-employed. Right? And further, compensation of employees means salary, wages, employer's contribution to social security scheme. Operating surplus means rent, interest, and profit. And mixed income is same as it is mixed income. If Mixed income is not given in the questions. We will assume zero, right? So, compensation of employees means wages and salary, and social security contribution by employer. So here we again write the formula. That is, wages and salary plus contribution by employer. to triple s social security scheme plus for operating surplus we need to add three things that is rent plus interest plus profits which is already given in the question and mixed income is mixed income mixed income is uh mixed income right which is not given in the question so we will assume it is zero now put the value wages and salary 400 plus contribution by employer to social security contribution by employers to social security scheme that is 50 plus rent interest and profits here is the profit 200 rent is 100 and interest is 150 the rent 100 interest 150 profit 200 and mixed income is zero right now 200 300 400 500 this is 900 totally is 900 which is ndp at fc now we will calculate ndp at mp because question required ndp at fc so ndp at mp not fc mp for ndp at mp 
firstly we need to write ndp at fc then n any same net net is same d and d that is domestic domestic same factor cost and market price this is not same so we will convert factor cost into market price that means ki we need to go from factor cost to market price so we need to add n i t right why we will uh, added n i t because from factor cost to market price we need to add n i t which is explained in the lecture number first so 900 plus n i t is given net in that taxes that is 70 that is 970 rupees in crores this is the answer here is your answer given in the question ndp at mp equals to 970 arab oh this is arab this is in arab not in crores so we write arab now we also need to calculate private income so here firstly we write private income private income equal to n n p at f c that is national income minus government sector surplus surplus of government sector government sector surplus plus three things net current transfer from r o w plus current transfer from government plus national debt interest government sector surplus means government sector surplus means this is given in the phase number 8 government surplus or you can say surplus of government sector and here is also given surplus of government sector is also known as other name by other name that is income from domestic product accruing to government sector and surplus of government sector how we will get surplus of government sector we need to add two things to get surplus of government sector first one is saving of non departmental enterprises second one is income from property and entrepreneurship accruing to government administrative departments right so surplus of government sector is also known by other name that is income from domestic product accruing to government sector so here is income from domestic product accruing to government sector is given that is 120 right and these three items is as it is given in the question here national debt interest current transfer from government and net current transfer to abroad here net current transfer to abroad in our formula net current transfer from abroad is added but here it is given to abroad so we will change the sign we will change sign minus from plus one more thing is we also need to calculate nnp at fc so firstly we will calculate nnp at fc here nnp fc for calculation of nnp fc we will get the value of ndp at mp which i have calculated above ndp at mp equals to 970 so here we will write ndp at mp and then from net to net this is same from domestic to national we need to add it n f i a and from market price to factor cost we will need to less n i t okay ndp at mp is 970 plus nfia is given here net factor income to abroad this is not from abroad so we will also change the sign this is already given in negative minus 20 but we here we have added nfia but while putting the value we will here what change the sign that is plus to minus and also 
right amount in bracket because this item is given in bracket another we need to subtract nit nit is 70 this equals to 920 rupees arab right now we will put the value of nnp at fc in this formula that is 920 minus we need to subtract government sector surplus that is also known as income from domestic product according to government sector that is 120 and we need to add three things current transfer from row that is net current transfer to abroad we will also change the sign from plus to minus and write minus 10 into bracket plus current transfer from government which is given here current transfer from government 30 and national debt interest is 60 this is 30 plus 60 equals to 120 120 this is 800 plus 10 plus 30 plus 60 equal to 900 rupees in Arab this is our answer thank you for watching this lecture